Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is Judy's kids. These guys uh, were just born on the 13th of September. So they're about six days old today. And we wanted to give you a video when I stuck them on the website. So she's got eight babies. I know, she says, what are you pointing? She does not like a camera. She says, I'm gonna chill out. And I do not have any photos of her. We thought we had taken photos out in the yard and I didn't. So um, I only have the one picture with her laying there with the babies that I have at the top of the website. Hey, are you really upset? I know you're all right. She's not gonna get you with the camera. Um, she says, I, I didn't wanna lay this way. I know, I made you lay this way. So we're gonna go through these guys. I'm gonna give you some weights on them. I'll let you see them. Hopefully we won't mix them up. Um, I'm gonna try and do this. So there's two in here that are almost the same color. And so this is a male. This is a blue Merle. A blue Merle, for those of you that have never seen the website, is a color, uh, the base color is usually a blue gray. They'll have black, black spots of different degrees on them. This little blue Merle is a lot heavier spotted. This is still a blue Merle, except it's primarily black. So this little guy has, let me turn him over, big white chest and tails are done. Dew claws are finished. And let me give you his microchip number. 7317 is the last four numbers in his microchip. It's a huge number. It's about 12 numbers long. So I just usually put the last four microchips on there. So let me see what he weighs today. He's 11, no, he's 12.2 right on the nose. So this little guy is 11, 12.2, uh, sorry. And it is a blue Merle. So let me grab the other blue Merle with not many spots. Cause I wanna do all these blue ones first. Let me go, this is, let me go. This one has a little bit more spots on it. And this one I think is a female. Yep, this is a female. She's got a big white chest all the way up to her chin. She's got a little bit of white on the front toes, a little bit of white on the back toes. And I just see, okay, this is 7314 is her microchip and she's got a little bit more black on the back of her. And eyes won't open for about another seven to eight days yet. So that's her. This is another blue Merle. Oh, that one was connected pretty good. This one has a lot of color. This one has a lot of spotting. This one is a female also. And she's got a white all the way up under her chin and then a white chin. It doesn't connect though. So that'll give you an idea of color wise. And she's got a really nice black eye up here. Almost a yin yang face, but not quite. And if you want an example of what these blue merles that are marked like this are gonna look like, if you go to the page that says um, gents and ladies, go to the gents page and take a look at Stryker. Stryker started out the same color as three, these three merles and you can see what he looks like now. This is 7310 is her microchip number. And let me get you, I don't think I weighed that one. Let me give you a weight on this one. Well, oh, I forgot to zero it out. We'll backtrack here in a minute and I'll give you the, the weight on the other one. 8.0 ounces on this little girl today. So let me go back here and grab this other blue Merle female. And I think this is her, it is. So this was the microchip 7314 and she weighs 10.2 ounces. All right, let's go ahead with the blue Merles. There was a blue Merle party down here. And for those of you who do not know what a party means, a party means a puppy that's predominantly white that has a little bit of coloring spotting on its body. It can be in any confirmation or configuration. Uh, it can be little spots, big spots, but this is called a party. It just basically means she's primarily a white puppy, but she's got blue spots. She's got a beautiful face. She's got a really nice blaze down her face. She's got a big full white collar around her shoulders. She's got a big black mark on her back, a couple smaller marks, a little bit of white. These markings will always be there. They are not gonna change. And she's gonna be the same color as Stryker is on the gents page when they're full grown, except he's not a party. She's got an all, he has an all white belly. I should have looked better. This is a he, not a she. So 
7314 is a male. I must have covered up that piece of equipment when I turned him over. But uh, do claws and tails are done on this guy. So let's see what he weighs. He is 10.6 ounces. All right, so next party Merlin here. I know you're being a good mommy. This one has a lot more white on its back, has the black speckling on the blue, has a really nice blaze on the face, going to have a black nose. Anything that's this blue Merle is always gonna have a black nose. Will they have blue eyes? It's a possibility, but I really can't tell you until they're about five weeks old if they're gonna go blue or not. Uh, this puppy is, and we're gonna look for sure, this is a girl. This is the blue Merle girl. And microchip number is 7312. And on the website too, when you look at these today, uh, above each photo, it will say available or sold. I do have one family that called in this morning and they are going to look at their pictures this evening and uh, possibly take a pic. They were actually looking at a chocolate Merle and it didn't work out for them on Autumn's litter. They were picked before it got to them. So there is a chance that um, they may take something from the litter and then they may pass, I don't know. But as soon as they have a chance to pick, I will um, go ahead and I'm gonna leave them on to the public, but I can take your name if you're interested, but I'll have to wait till the other family. 12.2 ounces on this little girl today until the other family picks. So that is the party colored Merles, the regular blue Merles. Now let's do the blacks. So this is a black and white party female. She's got really nice markings. She's got lovely markings on her head. And she's doing really good. She's got all white belly. And she's kind of marked like a Holstein cow. Uh, her microchip is 7311. They already are getting some waves down their coats also. Well, let me zero this out and there we go. The other thing is, if you do pick a puppy on this litter, please text me and let me know. Please call me with any questions you might have. This little girl's 13.4 ounces. And then also at the very top of the page on our website, there is a uh, contract for puppy buyers. And it will either ask you for um, if you're going to ship or if you're going to pick up your puppy. And so, um, we will need one of those if you do pick a pup from the litter. This is another black and white female. You can see that she's got a little bit more black on her coat. 7313 is her microchip number. You're a wiggler. And a nice, fat, little, chunky girl. She's got a little teeny tiny white snip of white up her face. And her belly is all white. Let me see what she weighs. She is 11.4 ounces today. And we got one more in here that's kind of hiding up here between mom's legs. I know, let me have this baby. This one is the really cool blue Merle. Uh, we had one like this in Luna's litter that was really differently marked. So this is almost a reverse Merle. This is a black puppy with the blue Merle markings instead of a blue puppy with the black marking. So this is a reverse Merle. Uh, Lots of nice color. This color will never change. It will always be black with the blue Merle spots. In fact, it has a little bit of a, a brownish spot right there, but nice blue Merle markings on the back. Has blue Merle markings, oh, don't turn your head, on the face. And a little white snip in the top. Let me see your baby. I know it's at your baby. And it has blue Merle belly, big time, all the way up with white to the chin. Got blue Merle on the back legs. Just a really nice puppy. And this one is a female. 7315 is her microchip number. So let me see what she weighs. 11, nope. Come on, quit moving. You gotta stop moving. She's 13.2 right on the button when it stops moving. So she's doing really good. I know this is your baby. So for many of you that do not know, and let me find somebody that's got ears you can see. Let me grab this one. So puppy's ears are sealed completely shut. So you can see in there, there is no opening in that ear whatsoever. So when they're born, ears are closed, eyes are closed. The ears will open at the same time the eyes do. 
they will actually start getting a little bit of flaking skin on these ears. And once that starts to flake, then they'll open up just about the exact same time the eyes do. Um, all dogs are born with front dew claws. Some have back dew claws. We take those off at birth because they're a pain in the butt for a groomer. And the only real purpose they have is for in the wild, if a dog was going to breed another dog, when they mount the dog, they dig those dew claws in on the side. Their dew claws is exactly what our thumb is. They walk on these four toes. They use this toe for gripping. Um, that's the toe we take off because groomers will go right up their leg and catch it in a pair of clippers and you'll have a, a bleeding toe and it's a royal pain in the butt. So we take those off at birth. Um, they're doing really good. This is, this is Judy's first litter. Judy is Grace's sister and also Lily's sister. Um, Lily has a litter that she had two days after Judy did and hers are exactly the same colors but she only has five. So we'll put those on probably next week and, um, or possibly, no, probably next week, I would say Monday or Tuesday. And, um, and she's also the same color as Judy, except she's got a couple more spots. Judy's, what are you thinking? I know, you don't like the camera, do you? So um, if you have any questions about these guys, please feel free to give me a call. Where are we at on time? Um, I've got about two and a half minutes to go yet on these guys, so uh, we, we won't run out of time so bad. Um, another thing with these guys, they'll start getting, they'll be wormed. Uh, their first worming will be at two weeks old. And until they're about, oh, sometimes clear up to six weeks old, the mothers make them defecate and urinate. They clean it all up, um, and they would do that in the wild, so that way they would keep their den clean. So she'll keep her carpet clean, but we change it about every three days and give her a new carpet so they stay cleaner and um, they don't have any bacteria that they're laying on a really dirty carpet. And uh, once their eyes open, I will put new pictures on, but until then, I'm probably not going to do new pictures of these guys, but the day, the week their eyes open, we'll have new pictures and uh, we might do a new video next week if their eyes aren't open, but we won't do new photos till that happens and their eyes get open. So if you have any questions or would like to know any more information about this litter, um, please give us a call. We have Lily Grace and Judy's mother here. Her name is Liberty. Um, Liberty is about a four and a half year old poodle. Looks just like Judy and Lily. So we've got uh, two generations here of these guys and they've been great dogs for us. I know, you're tired. She says, I'm going to go to sleep. And mom works with these guys all day. When she does go to sleep, she sleeps like a rock. And they keep right on nursing. They never stop. So for the first two weeks, they cannot control their body temperature. And whatever temperature they lay on, that's the temperature of their body. So that's why mom spends so much time with them as she keeps their body temperature up. Her body temp is about 101 degrees. And the pups use her for a heating, bank, a heating pad. So... I hope you enjoyed their video. Uh, they're doing great and it's a beautiful litter of puppies. Uh, weight wise on these guys, you're gonna be somewhere between 22 and 28 pounds. And if you ask me the kind of dog food we feed, it's down at the bottom of the page under the video. And if you're looking for the contract, it's at the very top uh, to the right of the video of uh, Judy and her puppies. So have a great week and I hope you enjoyed their video. We'll talk to you soon.